What's up you guys, welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do new car truck SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are in the new 2022 Mercedes-Benz G63, courtesy of Mercedes-Benz of Hagerstown in Hagerstown, Maryland. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And so we are in this one today because it is an AMG, because it is a G-Wagon, because every single engine on any AMG is always handcrafted as well. And these things are extremely rare to go along with all of that as well. So ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one so having said that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so msrp for the 2022 mercedes-benz amg g63 will start at 156,450 dollars price as tested is just slightly over two hundred thousand dollars because there are plenty of different options available for this thing but powering the beast is a handcrafted by turbo v8 and like i said the engineer building the engine actually signs it before this thing goes out which is definitely a very nice little added touch as well 577 horsepower at 6,000 RPM, 627 pound-feet of torque coming in at 2,500 RPM. Power sent to all four wheels. This thing does come with a permanent all-wheel drive system. That power is sent to the ground through an AMG-specific nine-speed automatic with paddle shifter, zero to 60 time. Mercedes puts it at 4.5 seconds. A car and driver actually tested it at 3.9 seconds, so substantially quicker there. With MPG numbers coming in at 13 in the city, 16 on the highway, taking premium unleaded fuel. But so then I did want to also mention there are plenty of driving modes to completely adjust the characteristics of the G-Wagon. So there is a toggle switch labeled dynamic. It stands for dynamic select located just to the left of the circular dial in the center there. It's going to give you eco, comfort, sport plus and individual. Adjusting things like the shift points, the throttle response, steering sensitivity and suspension settings then as well. Then to touch on the braking up front you will find 14.8 inch ventilated front discs. In the back 13 inch solid rear discs, 6 piston front calipers which by the way can be had in red or silver over your color choice with no extra charge for either option so that's pretty cool as far as braking feel goes it's actually not bad i just got done driving the land river defender and the braking feel in this really is much firmer than the Defender that I recently tested, which I personally prefer because this thing is a beast. You wanna make sure it's able to stop correctly. So I was definitely a big fan of that. Then touching on suspension and handling, independent double wishman type front suspension in the back, rigid axle rear suspension, but you also get an adaptive damping suspension. Essentially what that is, is it monitors each shock absorber individually, not only adjusting to the rotor perfections, giving you a smoother ride, but it's also going to tighten up the suspension during heavy cornering, really giving you the best of both worlds. So that's just about as good as you can get when it comes to suspension and as far as ride quality in my short little test drive here it is perfectly fine mainly due in part because of that adaptive suspension steering feel definitely is weighted on the heavier side of things which quite honestly goes very well with the g-wagon because this thing essentially is a tank so if it had a loose steering feel it quite honestly just wouldn't feel right so the heavier steering feel on the g-wagon is definitely very nice as far as cabin noise goes i will say you get an acoustic laminated front windshield and every single door glass as well is laminated typically when you get acoustic laminated windows you get the front windshield typically coming standard then the front door glass is sometimes optional but the rear door glass is also laminated on the g-wagon so this is a very serene cabin for that particular reason and then this thing is very off-road capable as well i want to touch a little bit on the off-road capabilities here three locking differentials and you will find those buttons located just in between the center air vents here up front now of course gives you center rear and front differential locks 9.5 inches of ground clear clearance and a fording depth of 27.5 inches in case you were curious. Then touching on visibility, it's actually not that bad for what this vehicle is. And the reason I say that is the second row headrests fold down pretty nicely into the second row so they're not protruding up, impeding on your visibility out the back. So I am a big fan of vehicles that do that because not all of them do do that. So when the second row headrests are up, a lot of times that completely crushes your visibility. But in this case, it's actually not that bad considering you have that giant full-size spare hanging out on the back that's really the only drawback but i would imagine you would get used to that and it's really not all that bad but also touching on forward visibility rain sensing which you wipers do come standard as well but that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review guys so go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 mercedes-benz amg g63 all right so here she is you guys the new 2022 mercedes-benz amg g63 finished in g manufacturer arabian gray 
By the way, this color option is a $6,500 option if you wanted to go that route. But of course, let's go ahead and start up front in this one. AMG specific front fascia, of course, with that AMG badging found on the driver's side on the front grille there, definitely looks good. To the sides, LED headlights do come standard with headlight washers. You guys can see that kind of on the inside of those housings there. It definitely is pretty cool. Automatic feature coming with that. Automatic high beams also coming with that, meaning when you have your high beams on at night, it senses the vehicle coming in the opposite direction. It's got to automatically dim those back to low beams. Then when the vehicle is gone, it's going to automatically bump it back up to high beams. So it's pretty nice as well. Front grille with these kind of square slats. That definitely looks very nice as well. As far as the brush guard goes, you guys can see that, of course, in typical G-Wagon fashion. It's either going to be an AMG matte silver or gloss black finish. So it depends on the package options that you go with. We do have a package option that gives it this gloss black finish, but traditionally the standard setup is a matte silver finish. So I did want to mention that large functional mesh intakes then to the bottom corners there. It's definitely very nice. It's functional as well, providing engine cooling, of course. LED daytime running lights and indicators found on the hood. You guys can see that up top. I always loved that look on G-Wagon, so big fan of that. And overall, a very recognizable, a very identifiable look to this beast. So that pretty much rounds out the front end. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side. And so now since we are around to the side of the G-Wagon here, rear privacy glass does come standard. Taking a look at the side mirrors, they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors. They will be heated with LED integrated turn signals and power folding as well. So a lot going on there. If you guys look at the front fenders there, you not only have AMG badging, but V8 by turbo badging as well. Nice little added touch there. Matte black door trim to match the door handles. Definitely very nice there. These door handles, I feel like have been on the G-Wagon for quite a while now. It's one of the signature trademarks I feel at this point. So I like it, but heavy duty side steps as well. They are made out of stainless steel. Take a look down at the wheel configuration, 20 inch AMG specific 10 spoke alloys come standard. However, there are plenty of different optional setups for example take these 22 inch matte black amg specific alloys that we currently have here today so definitely plenty of options there and amg specific exhaust with dual chrome tips and by the way of course these are side pipes so that is why i'm mentioning them now as opposed to when we get to back this one because there's no exhaust out back these are side pipes so having said that i do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip All right, so but now since we are around back to the G-Wagon here, you will find the LED integrated brake light just above that rear window there. If you're curious if there is a rear window wiper, there actually is. It is hidden behind that full-size spare. So you do have the window wiper back there as well. Of course, we'll get some AMG and G63 badging back there. LED taillights down below there look absolutely amazing. And if you're curious about the towing capacity, that is going to come in at an even 7,000 pounds. All right, so but now since we are around to the back of the G-Wagon here, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is a manual tailgate so simply just make sure the g-wagon is unlocked you can simply open that up from the right side to the left once opened up cargo capacity comes in at 38.1 cubic feet if that was not enough space there is a 60 40 split meaning the rear seats do fool down bumping that up to 68.6 cubic feet a lot of stuff going on in the cargo area though i will say that you do have cargo lighting of course you have four cargo tie down anchors there are grocery bag hooks back there there's a 115 volt power outlet as well and everything is carpeted as well back there which is very nice it's a very nice feel to the cargo area so tons of space back there but then making our way up to the rear legroom that is going to come in at 39.5 inches so again for reference i am an even six feet tall this is how much space i have back there there is a rear center armrest with cup holders of course rear ventilation as well there is not only a 12 volt power outlet but also a usb charging port back there and the rear seats are actually heated that comes standard so those heated seat buttons are located on each of the rear passenger doors back there in case you were curious as well so a lot going on for the rear passengers but now make your way up to the front seats power adjustable front seats with memory settings do come standard napa leather seating is the standard configuration as well heated front seats will come standard there are some optional seating setups included ventilated front seats and massaging front seats but my very favorite part about the seating is when you go into a turn there are adaptive side bolsters on these seats so if i'm turning right it's going to automatically tighten up on the left side only and then if i turn left 
it's going to tighten up and kind of push me on the right side so it better holds you center in the seat it is incredible that is the first time i've ever experienced adaptive side bolsters on any vehicle out there so 100% love that. Not that you're going to be necessarily taking turns fast in the G-Wagon, but it does definitely help hold you in place and hold you center in the seat a heck of a lot better than otherwise would. So I was a huge fan of that. Like I said, first time I ever experienced that. But then take a look at the steering wheel. It is power adjustable. It is perforated. It is leather wrapped. And heated steering wheel is going to be optional and it is amg specific of course with a flat bottom there as well then make our way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key here of course you got your cool amg logo on the one side then when you flip it over lock and unlock as well but it is all keyless entry with a push button start so all i'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just to the left of the air vent there and so once started up gauge cluster is going to be a 12.3 inch digital readout it is completely adjustable when you adjust the drive Drive modes it's going to adjust the look of it it is completely customizable and there's actually sections where you can change the display to sport classic and progressive so that is pretty cool we're gonna leave it on classic for now but it is completely adjustable so I wanted to mention that so definitely very nice there then making our way to overall interior quality there is a power sunroof that comes standard frameless rear view mirror with homelink controls and by the way that rear view mirror is auto dimming of course as well tri-zone climate control will come standard meaning both driver passenger and rear passengers can all set their own temperatures there. You do also have 64 colors of ambient lighting, which I always say Mercedes-Benz does ambient lighting better than any other manufacturer out there. It's the brightest, it's the best located, like they put it in the best places. So definitely a very nice look there. You got this massive aluminum G manufacturer grab handle on the passenger side there as well. That's pretty cool. Also have diamond pattern stitched Napa leather found in the doors. There's plenty of authentic carbon fiber accents, which which by the way is one of the options that we have on this particular G-Wagon here today. So that is located absolutely everywhere. Not to mention the authentic suede headliner that is completely all around me right now. So very nice feel to that as well. Red contrast stitching, I probably could go on and on. But then to cover just some of the basics, there is an analog clock front and center just below that. You have dual cup holders with the 12 volt power outlet as well. And within the center armrest, decent amount of storage. You also have a couple USB charging ports in there actually as well. So overall incredible interior quality as expected for a $200,000 vehicle. But now let's go ahead and make our way up to the infotainment screen. Once again, 12.3 inch high resolution display. By the way, it is not touchscreen, but rather there is a circular dial and kind of a touchpad controller located just behind the cup holders. And that is how you're going to adjust what is on that 12.3 inch high resolution display. So of course you have Bluetooth and audio streaming, wireless Android auto, Apple CarPlay. You have factory navigation system as well. You can adjust your climate control settings up there and also of course your radio information and so when it comes to the sound system on the g-wagon here you will get a standard 15 speaker burmester surround sound system with 590 watts so having mentioned that what do you guys say let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one we're from the country and we like it that way actually you can feel the bass there's an incredible amount of bass and that wasn't even at sirius xm radio that was a crystal clear sound system as well. You could tell there were speakers coming from absolutely everywhere. There's the speaker covers are aluminum as well. There's this nice one up top of me, right on top of the rear view mirror here that looks very nice. So they are everywhere and a ton of bass, like I said. But anyways, last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the G-Wagon in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board along with a surround view monitor as well, letting you know what is completely all around you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start front side side curtain airbags do come standard driver and passenger knee airbags then as well in the back you're gonna have latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats rear child door locks tire pressure monitoring system but also coming standard attention assist mercedes-benz emergency call service adaptive cruise control speed limit recognition blind spot assist with rear cross traffic alert lane keep assist and parktronic with active parking assist as well and so Overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here, this is an extremely off-road capable SUV. I'm not sure you would ever take it off-road just due to the price of the thing, but still, it is very off-road capable, I'll say that. It is incredibly quick as well, zero to 60 in 3.9 seconds is definitely very nice. Nice ride quality, 
instantly recognizable, incredible interior quality with the suede headliner, the contrast stitching, Napa leather finishes. So very nice there. And this thing is still very much so a status symbol, of course, as well, because this one with all the options, I think is like 207,000. And quite honestly, somebody buying this would probably pay a heck of a lot more than that for it as well. So that is about it for this one, you guys. Let me know what you think of the new AMG G63 in the comments section below. And that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.